Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and today we talk about the 2003 Nissan 350Z Z33 LE in Need for Speed Heat. Let's go! All right, real quick, before we get into the video, I just want to mention if you're looking for any of my builds or a level 50 crew or a link to my Discord, it's all on my website as well as all of my best guides. And I recently put an events page where you can see the next stream that's coming up and how to join and play in those streams. So go over to my website, it's militiagamingco.com. All right, for this Legends Edition 350Z, the fastest engine is the 646 horsepower 3.5 liter V6. It was pretty close but this one performed better all around on arian it ran a 304.9 and on sonic it ran a 245.2 now that's not really that great in fact it's kind of in the bottom third of the track cars for this game so this is just really not where this car is good i really can't recommend it for track at all but if you really want to use it for track you can go ahead and do that and here is my full build it's that 646 horsepower engine ultimate plus engine parts dual turbo 5x3 pound nos super track suspension sport brakes elite race tires elite plus clutch super plus six speed gearbox super track differential nos refills and duration and then steering sensitivity at zero and downforce at plus five this car really struggles in turns with traction just can't regain traction and it slides like crazy even if you have a track build it still slides so downforce plus five traction control is off and drift style is on gas all right Moving on to the drag build. Again, not really worth anything. It's ranked 98 out of 131 cars. That means it has a 2.030 to 60 and an 8.93 quarter mile. Just really not fast at all. So again, can't really recommend it. I'm not even gonna speak through the build. You guys can just screenshot the card, throw it up. All right. Moving on to the drift build. Now this is where this car is very good. It's one of the best drift cars in the game. I don't know exactly where it ranks, but it scores very, very well. And it's fairly easy to handle once you understand the handling dynamics. So basically when you're drifting, if you would like to transition, the easy transition is just to turn the steering. Now, if you are going too fast like if you're going to collide with a car or a building or something like that you can tap the handbrake during that transition it'll slow you down you can also tap the regular brake but i actually recommend not touching the regular brake because it tends to screw up your drift angle and it's just not worth it but a tap of the handbrake that helps you with your speed and then you can just use your steering to go left and right the car turns very very well it transitions very well so this is a very good drift car i averaged 101,340 on the drift trial that is right outside that racetrack and this is just a great score so good scoring car use this for all of your drift events around the map here is the drift build that same engine engine parts and dual turbo with a 5 by 3 pound nos Super Speed Cross Suspension, Pro Brakes, Elite Drag Tires, Elite Plus Clutch, Super 5 Speed Gearbox, Pro Drift Differential, NOS Refills and Duration, and then Steering Sensitivity at plus 5, Downforce at minus 5, Traction Control is off, and Drift Style is on gas. All right, lastly, let's take a look at the off-road build, and it's okay. I mean, it's kind of in the slow side of things. It's ranked 64 out of 131, so I don't know. It's it's okay. That's all I can say. I just, I didn't really enjoy driving it off-road. I felt it was a bit too slippy. It's just something that it's like not comparable to any of the top five or top 10 cars, so why even drive it off-road? It's just not fun. But if you do want to do that, here is the build. And with that, I'll end the video. I really appreciate you guys' support on this series. You guys have been absolutely amazing. I appreciate it. And I look forward to doing these types of videos when Need for Speed Unbound releases. So definitely catch the channel for that type of stuff. If you want to support the channel even more, you can leave a super thanks on the video or you can become a member. The memberships are $5 and $10. You get a lot of different things. Custom emotes, custom badges next to your name. You get members-only streams and members-only community posts. It's a great deal as well as 
has an exclusive Discord channel just for members on my Discord. So if you want to support the channel, that's the way you do it. All right. And speaking of members, shout out to all the Heat 5 members. You guys are absolutely the best of the best. Thank you very much. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.